My name is David Lindsay. I'm an instructor at the Avondale campus. I started in aviation when I was really young. My family has been in aviation for years, and so I've always leaned towards that. Graduated at ASU, joined the military, and then I'm in the National Guard currently, so I work there, and then I was also just doing component repair, doing power plant repair. Anything I could touch an aircraft or engine, I was doing, and then slowly but surely that kind of led me down. I got not sick of wrench turning, but I wanted to help other people who could have helped me, and so that's why I came over to teach, and that's what I want to do now. Funnily enough, as much as I loved aviation, I was not mechanically inclined. You, I had two left hands and two left feet, so I was not good with wrenches, but it's just over time, you start with the easy stuff you can do. It's fun to see that light bulb go off, where like the student's not getting it, they're not getting it, and finally you just change that phrasing a little bit, and all of a sudden it clicks, and you see them just sprint 50 miles ahead, and they're like, okay, I totally get this now. An airframe and power plant license for us is the same as what a four-year degree might be for an engineer. It's that certification of, I went to school, I know what I'm doing. Maybe you do this program and you don't really like the mechanical side, but there's other things that you can do in the aviation world besides just taking apart engines. So there's so much that opens up to you if you're even interested in getting the aviation as a whole that this program can do for you. In regards to if you're on the fence, you know, four-year degree versus a program like this, this is the stepping stone. The aviation is an industry of knowledge and experience. How much knowledge do you have that comes from your airframe and power plant license? How much experience you have comes from your working history. That's what are the two most important factors in our world. When you're an a and mechanic, you get to go fly. You get to do maintenance test flights. You become a pseudo pilot in a sense. So you get to have that fun of what a pilot has, but you also have the technical knowledge. So you're cooler than a pilot because you know a lot more than they do. There is no set person that's like, that guy's gonna be an a and What it is, is it's your attitude. If you're even on the fence about it, you're gonna wanna do it. All that's stopping you is just taking that step to walk in for your first day. That's it.